Welcome to another 254 repair video on cell phone repair. On this one, we're going to replace the charging port on a Galaxy S6 Edge. So the first thing that we do is heat up the back and we want to make sure that we do not exceed 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Now in this video, we make sure that you get a really good view of the repair we got two cameras set up so you're gonna get two different angles of this of the repair the other thing is we are gonna fast forward some parts of the video that are like pretty self explanatory very simple like removing the screws and stuff like that but some parts we will be taking our time because they are very delicate parts of the procedure and it's really easy to damage and we want to make sure that you see us do it our way and with our tools so you get some ideas of how to do it yourself. Now the adhesive on the Galaxy S6 Edge is very strong. Uh, we had a really hard time trying to get it off and that's why this part of the video we did not fast forward it. We want to make sure that you look at how we did it. It was really strong, really hard, so we went ahead and used uh, an opening tool that we actually had to sharpen up a little bit because it was not thin enough to get in between the back glass and the frame. But once we got it in, we went ahead and put some playing cards in between and the process started going a little bit faster. Not this fast, this is fast forwarding, but uh, just letting you know, it, that back glass is kind of hard to get out. A plus with this phone is that you can actually remove this charging port and pretty much any component attached to the logic board without having to remove the LCD like is, like is the case on the Galaxy S6. So now let's get started and let's remove the screws. Pretty much you're going to remove every single screw that you can see on the back of the phone. And once that is complete, we're going to go ahead and slightly separate the LCD from the frame and tilt it and that way we're going to get it out. So we start at the top and we apply a little bit of pressure and there it comes. Now the rest of the procedure is pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, watch it and I'll make a little comments as needed. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the charging port. In order to do that, we're going to remove the coaxial cable that attached to it. And we are going to remove the screws that are holding it in place. Second coaxial cable, we remove it. Be very careful with, with this coaxial cables that are easy to break. The connector for the charging port is actually under the logic board. Therefore, we're going to remove all the other flex cables that attach to the logic board in order to lift it up. That will give us access to the charging port flex cable. Now 
Now we get the replacement charging port and we place it where the old one was and start reversing the process. Make sure the coaxial cables go back into the grooves that they came from otherwise they might get pinched when you put the phone together and it will probably mess up your signal your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth depending on the one that gets pinched At this moment, we got everything reconnected. So we're going to go ahead and put it back in the frame and start reversing the process, putting the screws on it, and pretty much conclude the repair. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video was useful for you. Please subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of other videos on uh, cell phone repair, computer repair, and tablet repair. And please don't forget to give us a like if this video was useful for you or if it was entertaining in any way, shape, or form. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day. So, this is the one that you made? I didn't make a USB. Oh, you never did? No. So, it was this? Yeah, okay. We got a